Hello, this is Hakadabin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-999, also known as a Tickle Monster. I'm gonna call them Bob. Because why not? If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And also, keep in mind that in two days, I will be debuting soon. Please attend if you are able, if not, then you may watch the VOD. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-999. Object Class, Safe. Special Criterion Procedures, SCP-999 is allowed to freely roam the facility should sure desire to, but otherwise must stay in its pen and either between 8 to 9 p.m. for sleeping or during emergency, your lockdowns for its own safety. So it is not allowed out of its pen at night or off facility grounds at any time. Pen is to be kept clean and food replaced twice daily. All personnel are allowed inside SCP-999's holding area, but only if they are not assigned to other tasks at the time, or if they are on break. So it is to be played with the board and spoken to in a calm, non-threatening voice. Description SCP-999 appears to be a large, amorphous, gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime, weighing about 54 kilograms or 120 pounds, with a consistency similar to that of peanut butter. So size and shape is easy malleable and can change shape at will. Though when at rest, SCP-999 becomes a rounded ovulate dome, roughly two meters wide and one meter in height. The surface of SP-999 consists of a thin, transparent membrane similar to that of an animal cell, roughly 5.5 mm thick and is highly elastic, allowing SP-999 to flatten portions of its body up to, 10 in, up to 2 cm thin. This surface is also hydrophobic, although 999 can willfully absorb liquids, see addendum 9991, I mean A. The rest of SP-999 in 999's body is filled with a viscous orange substance of unknown chemical makeup. Though it is capable of digesting organic materials with ease. Subject's temperament is described as playful and dog-like. When approached, SCP-999 will often react with overwhelming elation, slithering over to the nearest person and leaping upon them, hucking them with a pair of pseudopods while nuzzling the person's face with a third pseudopod all the while emitting high-pitched gurgling and cooing noises. The surface of SCP-999 emits a pleasing odor that differs with whomever it is interacting with. Recorded scents include chocolate, fresh laundry, bacon, roses, and play-doh. Simply touching SCP-999's surface causes an immediate, mild euphoria which intensifies the longer one is exposed to SCP-999. It lasts long after separation from the creature. So savior activity is tickle wrestling, often by completely enveloping a person from the neck down tickling them until asked to stop. It does not always immediately comply with this request. Though injuries may occur, SCP-999 has never been found to purposefully attempt to harm others, and will immediately back away and contract its body into a quivering man um, while quivering in a manner similar to a whimpering dog, seemingly apologizing for hurting someone on accident. While the creature will interact with anyone, it seems to have a special interest in those who are unhappy or hurt in any way. People suffering from crippling depression or PTSD, for example, have reported a far more positive outlook on life after multiple interactions with SCP-999. The possibility of manufacturing antidepressants from SCP-999 slime is currently being discussed. In addition to its playful behavior, SCP-999 seems to love all animals, especially humans, refusing to eat any meat and even risk its own life to save others. On one occasion, leaving it from a person to take a bullet fired at them. So the intellect is still up for debate, though its behavior is infantile, it seems to understand human speech in most modern technology, including guns. SCP-999's diet consists entirely of candy and sweet, with M&M's neck Go wafers being its favorite. 
Its eating methods are similar to that of an, an amoeba. Addendum SCP 999A A. Reminder to all staff SCP 999 is not to consume caffeinated soft drinks of any kind. Last week, someone gave SCP 999 a can of cola along with its usual breakfast. Not only was it literally bouncing off the walls for half an hour, the carbonation made SCP 999 visibly queasy afterwards and refused to move or eat it the rest of the day. SCP 999 has thankfully removed. Uh, recovered since, but that member in question was reprimanded. Dr. Blank. I'll be back. And we're back. The following is a report from an experiment in which SCP-682 is exposed to SCP-999 in the hopes that it will curb the creature's homicidal raid. It SCP-999 is released into SCP-682's containment area. SCP-999 immediately slithers towards SCP-682. SCP-999 Lady Gurgles SCP-682 Untouchable all groans and growling What is that? SP-999 moves in front of SP-682, jumping up and down like a, in a dog-like manner while calling out in a high-pitched squealing noise. Hmm, disgusting. SP-682 immediately steps on SP-999, completely flattening SP-999. So we're sorry about to abort the experiment when SP-682 started talking again. Hmm? Hmm? What is this? Little noise similar to a light chuckle. I feel good. SCP-999 can be seen crawling up from between SCP-682's toes, up along its side and around its neck, where it clings on and begins gently nestling with its pseudopod. A white grin slowly spreads across SCP-682's face. <laughs> feel so happy. Happy! <laughs> happy! Happy! So, SP682 repeats the word happy for several minutes, laughing occasionally before escalating into non stop laughter. As after continues, SP682 rolls around onto its back, slamming its all upon the floor with dangerous force. 682, bellowing laughter. Stop! No tickling! Continues laughing. SCP-682 and SCP-999 continue to tickle off right, until SCP-682 finally wears out and appears to fall asleep, with what would appear to be a smile on its face. After 15 minutes with no activity, two of these class workers now enter er, er, the room to retrieve SCP-999. When SCP-999 is removed, SCP-682 immediately wakes up and unleashes it's an unidentified white, unidentifiable wave of energy from its body, all the while laughing maniacally. All forces within the wave's range collapse into fits of laughter, allowing SP-682 to escape and slaughter all in its, in its path. Meanwhile, SP-999 quickly rescues as many persons as it can, taking them to a safe place to recover from SP-682's laughter wave, while it is suppressed and recontained in SP-682. Despite the tragedy that SP if, if SCP-682 had brought upon the facility, SCP-999 has not shown any fear towards the creature, and in fact, has been just suggesting it wants to play with SCP-682 again. SCP-682, however, has stated that feculent little unintelligible can data expunged and die. <laughs> Memo from Dr. Blank. While the test was unsuccessful and ended in tragedy, that had to be the funniest thing I have ever seen. 
I never thought I'd see the day where an outer card SCP-682 as cute. Please send me a copy of the security tapes ASAP. Now, that in its entirety took only 10 minutes. It would be very, it would be a huge shame to break my trend of an hour and a half long videos that I've had lately. So we're going to click on another SCP article. What article? I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking we're gonna go with something from the 7000 series. Just because, 7. Peter's Pop Up Pub. That sounds sounds really fun. Item number SCP seventy fifty four. Object class Euclid. Social criterion procedures. Foundation assets are to monitor media platforms where SCP seventy fifty four is known to have purchased its ad spaces to determine when and where SCP seventy fifty four will will next manifest. In the event that SCP-7054 manifests, a cover story is being made to vacate the premises where SCP-74 where SCP-74 are manifests no less than 12 of hours before it enters baseline reality. And no foundation personnel, not specifically authorized by level 4 or above, research personnel, or MTF of Lambda-14, once our reviewers, Captain Grace Savoy, may enter the building. As no means have been discovered for the permanent containment of SCP-7054, or the entities therein. Foundation efforts are instead to be directed towards disrupting the revenue of the establishment as a means of force to vacate baseline reality. Description SCP-7054 refers to an extra-dimensional retail bar that will manifest in vacant lots or open areas in major metropolitan areas or other population centers in our baseline reality. It is roughly 75 square meters and possesses exterior decor or, or consistent with that of a 19th century Irish homestead. A hanging sign by the front, by the front entrance reads Peter's Pop Up Pub. SCP 7054 is frequented by humanoid patrons hailing from other realities, as well as other anomalies known to the foundation that possess extra or, inter or interdimensional properties. The means by which it attracts these entities is unknown, however. The establishment is known to purchase ad spaces in SCP-54021, an interdimensional newspaper, as well as other non-anomalous media, such as the Boston Globe, the Moscow Times, and the San Francisco Chronicle, and other Earth's Pagan Word Manifest. With the exception of the patrons, the interior of SCP-7054 probably resembles a non-anomalous Irish pub with a single room divided into a bar and dining area. Among the furniture is a pool table as well as a black and white television set. The TV is often set to sports channel from other realities, which primarily play rugby and soccer matches during featuring extra-dimensional humanoid athletes. SCP-7054-1 refers to a humanoid entity that acts as a barkeeper and, and self-professed owner of SCP-7054. It appears as a rotel on the male in its late 40s and stands approximately 1.7 meters tall. SCP-7054-1 regularly aunt's entire area consistent with the bartenders of the late 8th to 19th into early 20th century. Those are the formal, a formal of vest, bow tie, and apron. It speaks with a thick Irish accent and will refer to itself as Pete. SCP-7054-1 possesses the ability to improve alcohol like beverages that have very anomalous properties. These beverages possess the collective designation of SCP-7054-1 and A, and include but are not limited to the following. Items of apple cider. Properties. A glass of spiked apple cider that terribly raises the drinker's intelligence. SCP-74 
7054-1 and claims to have procured the ingredients for this beverage from an individual named Uriel. Price is $799 in the US currency, by the way. Blue Comrade, a blue beverage uh, otherwise similar to white Russian. The drinker will grow a thick, of, a thick set of facial hair and its fat common slogans until the alcohol wears off. $6.99. Double Vision. A glass of lager that, when consumed, causes others to view two images of the drinker, similar to the effects of diplopia, the medical term for double vision or seeing double. Four ninety nine USD. Great Scotch. The gla a glass of scotch that, when consumed, causes uh, drinkers to view an event from the perspective of themselves two or three years in the past. Seven ninety nine. In USC. This is all in USC, by the way. Liquid Courage. A beverage served in a shot glass of temporary improves the singing tone of the drinker. SV7054 or one often offers this drink at a discount of price on karaoke night. $4.99 USC. Lovecraftian Lager. Lager served in a container composed of an unidentified green organic material all shaped to resemble a cup. When served, a series of prehensile tentacles will spike out from inside of the cup and walk it across the bar top to the drinker. It evokes an intense feeling of euphoria when consumed. However, sufficiently toxic drinkers will suffer severe hallucinogenic effects and make a claim to witness how they will die while a little the drink's influence. Screaming Suds, a tin beer can of a, of a non-existent brand. It possesses a makeshift fit. It's consisting of googly eyes and a pipe cleaner amount of hot glued to its front. Upon being opened, the can will become eminent and plead with the drinker not to consume it. I had a love crafting lager is $9.99 and this one is $4.99. Shaken, not stern. Erd. A matine cocktail that as the a drinker to speak with a traditionally upper class British accent. I cannot deal with that. 899 USC. Tropic Thunder. Spiked juice served in a hollowed out pineapple. When consumed, it causes drink drinker to believe themselves to be relaxing on a beachside. It evokes feelings of physical warmth and relaxation. 799. SCP-7054-1 is believed to be the entity responsible for moving SCP-7054 across realities and locations. However, the means by which it accomplishes this are unknown. SCP-7054-2 is a mechanical bronze automaton that is humanoid in design. It is 2.3 meters tall and dons a tire similar to SCP-7054-1, who refers to it as a bouncer. The NT is anomalously strong and resilient to physical damage. It does not appear to be sentient. SV7054-1 may summon it to remove unruly patrons from the premises. <sighs> Addendum 7054-1 Discovery April 24th 2022. An instance of SCP-54-021 recovered by MTF Lambda-8 Newsies was found to who contained an advertisement that read as follows. Peter's Pub a Pub. Uh, it's beer o'clock in Earth-13 because Peter's Pub a Pub, the oldest transdimensional bar and eatery in the cosmos, is coming to Boston, Massachusetts, now with a V plus health rating from the Interdimensional Culinary Coalition. Keep an eye out for the e Brooklyn for us on Brooklyn Avenue this Friday. On Thursday, March 28th, Foundation Assets in the Massachusetts Office of Public Safety and Inspections 
closed Brooklyn Avenue under the cover story of a sewage leak. At 7 a.m. EST, a SCP-754 manifested on the street. Two hours after its first appearance, MT of Lambda-14 were sent inside on an investigative mission. Body cam footage revealed an assortment of anomalous humanoid patrons, none of which were then unknown to the Foundation database. The majority of the entities looked up to acknowledge MTF Lambda's interests, however, quickly disregarded them. SCP-7054-1, who is polishing a glass, instructed the agents to leave the tactical weapons on the coat rack by the front entrance. MTF of Agent and Blaskowitz was instructed by team leader Savoy to question SCP-7054-1, leading to the, to the following interaction. Sir, are you aware that you are trust? Ah, uh, lad. Conversation ain't free! Jasper is the menu above its head. I'm not doing it in Irish accent, don't even ask me to. Pick your fancy, son. This is a business, after all. Here's a list of drinks. I'll, uh, just a club soda, thanks. Not feeling very brave, are ya? No, Jaden, we've served lightweights all over the e cosmos. SCP-7054-1 snaps its fingers, an anom anomalous club soda manifest in front of, uh, of Agent and Blaskowitz. Do you use a dollar, yeah? That'll be buck fifty. Sir, are you aware you're trespassing into this reality? Trespassing, smash passing. I've been growing this, this business since and your great eight grandfather was wearing nappers. Wherever someone needs some comfort food with a drink, Greece Papa Pub ain't gonna be far behind. Peter's Papa Pub, so does that make you Pete at your service? Okay, so Pete. Exactly how long do you intend to stay here? Long as there's business, some of our most loyal survivors are from the E13, and we're practically Boston Staples, so I don't think you're gonna screw us out anytime soon. <sighs> uh huh, so say there wasn't any business. Just hypothetically speaking, what if the road you were on got shut down or nobody could enter? D&D furrows his brow. Are you trying to extort me, laddie? Very military man or no, I ain't gonna let some black clad chances like you run me out of business. Sack, so prepare a temporary containment cell. This might get hostile. Oh, I'll show you hostile. Puts his fingers to his mouth on that Dallas screw of old whistle. Time for you to leave, if you lot of, of gobshites. SCP-7054-2 emerges from a set of double doors behind the bar area. MTF Lambda-14 opens fire onto the NT at no... Oh, fact. SCP-7054-2 proceeds to pick the agents up two at a time and throw them outside through the front entrance. SCP-7054-1, yelling from inside. And stay out, you sorry saps! SCP-7054 with seven fingers. SCP-7054 e manifests immediately thereafter. <sighs> Leader Savoy. That certainly could have gone better, but for the time being, I think we've found a fairly effective means to contain this entity. Whatever that bartender really is, it regards itself as a businessman. As long as we can disrupt its source of revenue, it shouldn't be too difficult to boot back out of our reality.
since instant as since as instant seventy fifty four that point one. SP-7054 has been encountered in our baseline reality on three more occasions. This is it below. How long did the dates work out? Now I see. June 5th, 2022. SP-7054 manifests on on Verskaya Street in Moscow, Russia. August 28th, 2022. SP-7054 Manifest on Market Street in San Francisco, California. SCP on the, actually Christmas of 2022. SCP 7054 Manifest on Grafton Street in Dublin, Ireland. All drinks are offered half off for Christmas special. On all three occasions, agents of MTF Lambda 14 were sent undercover into SCP-7054 disguised as patrons to collect further data on the establishment and the entities within. There have been no further incidents thus far. At the approval of Site-19, Dr. Blank, Director Blank, and MTF Lambda 14 sent three undercover agents. Agents Blaskowitz. Sawyer and Gregory into SCP-7054 during its manifestation on December 25th, 2022, with approximately 1,300 USC in discretionary spending. They aired, a they aired, a aired instances of SCP-7041A to be distributed at the then coming Excite-19 New Year's Eve party. And that's that, both the SCPs. I think that's long enough for one video. That's actually more in, in tune with the rest of the videos I've been making before I had that huge break and had to stop doing Reddit. So that was SCP-999, the Tickle Monster, and SCP-7054, Pete's Pop-Up, a pub. Very interesting anomalies to say the least. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. No idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but I hope I actually fix this problem I've been having. So until then, goodbye!